<laughs> Let's do this, right? All right, we are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You like the pros, Terry Carter coming at you for our beginner challenge day number five today. Um, I'm excited for you because this is going to be a song that is fairly easy chord wise. It's going to challenge your your strumming a little bit. And of course, we have a, an easy strum pattern and a more advanced strum pattern. And I want to thank everybody for being here on on the the live here. If you're here on YouTube, welcome. Make sure you drop something in the in the chat, uh, and also make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And then I want to give a special shout out to all the VIP and Platinum members over here on the Zoom call. Uh, and we'll we'll be back to that right after this. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you can see and hear me okay. If you can see and hear me. Okay, good, good. All right. I'm actually going to get a new microphone here, but I keep on forgetting to order it, but I'm going to order that. All right. So we are in our beginning challenge, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Kala, because if you've been following us here, or maybe you're not, but they have donated three separate ukuleles for it. Um, and then I have a special update as well. We are actually not giving away just one ukulele for the kids. We're actually going to give away several ukuleles, three for the kids. Okay. Um, uh, but anyway, we're giving away three ukuleles for this challenge. We are giving away one of this Kala Uke Like the Pros solid spruce top uh, tobacco sunburst ukes. Um, one of these concert or tenor, the winner's choice for that. Uh, and these are our nukes. And that's what, matter of fact, I'll be playing this one today, which is a concert size. Then we are also giving away one of the new Kala arch tops. Ukulele, actually, it's not, these were, these were introduced last year, but sometimes uh, they don't get them in. So they're not that, that they're not that old, even though uh, they came out last year. So one of these cool ones, and these, by the way, these do have a pickup in them and a strap button. So we're giving away this. This will be for the, uh, the general YouTube one. And then we're giving away a Waterman for a kid. So anyone that's 12 and under that wants to submit a video for that. A matter of fact, like I said, through one of our very special uh, members, we're actually upping that not to one, but the three Watermans that we're doing away. So that was a very nice gesture by uh, one of our members. All right, all you got to do to enter is make sure to just sign up, to go sign up. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Ukulelepros.com slash beginning. It's been a, been over a week since we've been we've been live because I've been out of town. So Ukulelepros.com slash beginning. Go sign up. That's the first step, and then you got to submit three. One, two, three videos up at the You Collect the Pros forum of any of the songs we're doing, okay? doesn't matter if it's the easier kid ones that we did at the beginning or more of the harder ones. Backing tracks, no backing tracks, singing, no singing, doesn't matter, right? That's that's not a concern. A concern is that you get over there to the forum, watch other people's video, like their videos, comment, be a part of the community, and then, and then you got to upload your videos as well. You actually are going to upload them to YouTube, and then copy that URL. You cannot upload a video into the forum, although there is a video there on the forum showing you exactly how to do this. All right, so I see a bunch of chats here. Go ahead and uh, let me know what you you have in your hands today. What are you playing today? What are you What are you playing today? Uh, yeah, I see so there's some weather issues. Yeah, I was in Florida, and uh, I was in Florida, and I left Saturday morning. And there was a big, uh, the storm was coming down from the New York area. Uh, and I got out of there just in time because I heard it was in the 30s on Sunday, which is cold for, for Florida. Um, probably one of the coldest days in history down there. Um, so yeah, so I got fortunate for that. And then I talked to a buddy that is in Boston on, when was that? Sunday, I think Sunday. And they had gotten 30 inches of snow. So 30 inches of snow. All right. So what are you playing today? I was going to play, I was going to play my black label, Koloha. Which is my baby, <laughs> my baby. But I decided to play the you like the pose model. All right. You could put All right, what do we got here? Ohana DIY uh, pineapple concert. Cool. Yeah, I don't think 
I don't know if Ohana's doing that anymore. Those DIY kits. They were, they had these DIY kits where you put them together. They might be, but um, anyway, cool. Uh, Fender, Montecito. Okay. I, I actually like those. I like those. I've been trying to get those fenders in my shop for a while. They're um, sticklers. <laughs> They're sticklers. If you know anybody at Fender, let me know. The person I've been dealing with is uh, keeps blowing me off, but we'll get them. All right. Enya. Ooh. And Enya Flame Mabel. Nice. Enya EUCMS. Good. Cool. Yeah, those are great, great value for those. An Oscar tenor. All right. Ohana Baritone, of course. Oscar Smith. All right. All right, good. Let me check over here. Who, what do we got going on over here in this? Let me grab the chat here. All right. Okay. Go to gig travel tenor. All right. Good. Coco Bola tenor. Cool. Kind of Leia. Islands. Oh yeah. I like those. Actually, I, I just got one of the kind of lay uh, turtle ones in, which I had never had. So the kind of lay uh, platinum or not platinum premium with the, uh, the turtles there. So uh, very, very cool. Cedar top pal ferro sides. All right. All right. Good. All right. SMH tenor fender Fullerton. Cool. Butterscotch. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. Those are like Koloha tenor, of course. All right. Gordon. Good. All right. Black Label, Lanakai, Cordoba, Pineapple Sunday. Ooh, nice. All right. Soundsmith, Spalted Maple, Ohana, CK20, Call of Sunburst, Tenor, Nice, Randall, Randall. All right. Very good. All right. So before we get started, we're going to get started in just a few minutes. There's a couple of things I want to, I want to throw out there for us. Uh, first and foremost, we have a the first ever, first annual You Like the Pros Festival happening on February 26th. That is this coming February 26th, meaning in 24 days. We are going to be here live in person at the warehouse, our headquarters here in San Diego. Uh, matter of fact, we got a bunch of people already planning their trip to come out, uh, fly out, drive down. Uh, so you can be a part of that, which I love to see a lot of you. Um, we're not going to have a, we're not planning on having a lot of people. Matter of fact, we're going to limit the amount of people that are here. We're going to kind of keep it intimate for this particular one. Um, we got a nice stage. The stage has been ordered. We got a nice big parking lot in the back. We got tables. We got chairs. Um, we'll be out there. We got a nice sound system. We got videos going and stuff like that. So anyway, you click the pros.com slash concert. It's a festival though. It's not a concert. It's actually a festival. Uh, we got myself. We got Bernadette teaches music or AKA Plazi. Uh, we got uh, Kimo Hussey, we got Anthony Stanley and his Polynesian dancers, we got Christopher Davis Shannon flying out from Pennsylvania to teach us some, some jazz, uh, we got Timothy Cruz coming as well, we're going to have some local uh, builders here showing off some ukes, uh, matter of fact, Cornerstone, Peter Moretas of Cornerstone is building a koa tenor for the store here, and he's rushing, uh, not rushing, but he's doing his best to have it ready by that, it's absolutely Phenomenal, man. In fact, this is for the store. This is not this is not made for me, but this is for the store. Um, he just texted me the other day. Absolutely phenomenal uke. Um, anyway, so call is donating a ukulele for the raffle. Uh, we got uh, I just talked to Kanalea yesterday. They're gonna send some stuff for the raffle and giveaway as well. Um, so anyway, check this out. If you can see this, let me see. I know the phone doesn't always work, but Cornerstone does these really cool things in the inside of their ukulele. So that's inside. So when you look inside, you see that that carving. That was that was a little extra extra, but he was like, "Do you want to do it?" And I was like, "Yes, of course, I want to do it." So and just absolutely gorgeous coal wood on this one. That's a side. That's just a side. So. Anyway, I'm excited to have that. So I hope you join. If you if not, you can come virtual. You click the pros.com slash concert. Come come be a part of it. It's gonna be we're gonna have workshops, we're gonna have performances, we're just gonna have a, a great time. We're gonna have a great time. So be a part of that. Uh, if you can, it's gonna be a phenomenal event. And this is the first one. So we're gonna do more and more of these. They're gonna get bigger and bigger. Matter of fact, uh, uh, right across the street is a big event center. And so I already talked to them. I think the next one, we're going to go over there and we'll do it there. And we'll just blow it out. Like we'll just get hundreds of people involved. I know. Uh, but anyway, this one's going to be intimate and small. Uh, like I said, you can go virtual if you can't make it out here, can't come down, don't want to come down, whatever reason, totally understandable. But uh, hopefully you come and be a part of that. All right. 
the hotels are booked, the plane tickets are booked, everything's booked. So it's, it's happening. And if it rains, we have a backup plan. It's still going to happen. We can just move, move inside. We got a big warehouse here. So it's, it's happening. All right. All right. Let's do this. Um, I got one other thing I want to mention here. Actually, there's probably some other stuff I got to mention too. I got to check my WhatsApp. What else? Uh, and then make sure that, uh, make sure to, uh, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Give this video a thumbs up just for being here. Uh, that would be great. Okay, I got the chart there. Uh, beginner challenge VIP option plan. Up. Okay, and then uh, the other thing I'm really excited about is the uh, the beginning kids course, which is a new course we have up at youcutthepros.com. Um, and a lot of you've got, if you're a premium member or a platinum member, you already got it. So that course is available. We'll put that link so you can go check that out beginning ukulele kids songbooks that course video course cool course some of my members here gave me a lot of help you know watching the videos making some corrections um uh cool um i was just reading some of the, the chat here but anyway the book is now available on amazon and uh, i don't have them yet in my in my store um i did order a copy for myself so what i'll do is i get a copy and i'll look it over there's always mistakes, but that's all right. That's that's life. Um, all little things that, that just makes them more valuable because it'll be first edition runs um, book. But it's now available up on the store for uh, or Amazon, both for regular hard copy and the Kindle version. Where is it? I'm not really ranking. There it is. I'm not ranking that high yet, so it will it will start ranking high though. Oh, by the way, it's the number one new release. In lullabies, let me share that screen. I'm gonna share my screen with you here real quick. All right, where is my Zoom here? Okay. You should check out this book. And it's the first book we're doing actually in color too. We're actually doing this book in color. So um, you can see that we already got the number one new release in lullabies, okay? That's interesting, so lullabies. That's for the Kindle version. These were just released like two days ago. And then the uh, the paperback. And we priced it really, really inexpensive. Um, we priced it really, really inexpensive so you can get it. And it's full color inside, even the insides in color, which is really cool. Okay, that's happening. That's on Amazon. Oh, I'll matter of fact, I'll just put the link here for you all for that book. So that goes along with the course. It looks absolutely phenomenal. What, what, uh, Oh, there it is. Sorry, Mario already got it. Mario did a fantastic job with inside. We got some photos of me. got some photos of my kids. Um, yeah, super, super cool. All right, y'all excited. That's what I want to know first. I got to get y'all excited. I got to get a hyped up today. We got a we got a classic, classic ukulele song. Probably one of the most uh, known ukulele songs in the history of ukulele songs. Uh, easy chords. I did an easy key for you. And uh, so I hope you're, you're excited, but get ready, get ready for it. And uh, this is going to be I'm Yours, okay? The Jason Mraz song, I'm Yours. Now, the original song is actually in the key of... The original key is B, <laughs> F sharp. That's right. I said F sharp. <laughs> G sharp minor, <laughs> G sharp minor, and and E. Just just by by raising your hand, or if you're on YouTube, putting something. Who who could play those four chords right now? Just without looking at a, the online or anything. Who can play the B chord? F sharp, G sharp minor, and E. Just, just, I mean, you saw my hand there, but who can play? All right. All right. All right. Let me check here. Let me know if you think you can play those four chords. And it's not that they're, it's not that they're so hard that you can't learn them. It's just that they're not chords that you necessarily see every day, right? They're not chords you see every day. Sorry, I didn't do it in this key. <laughs> I decided to simplify it, make it a little 
easier for us, but yet a little bit harder for the singing because it's going to take it up a little bit here. So hold on, I'm getting, let me see something. I feel like the, the camera is doing something weird here. Let me just check. Yeah, it's not on anything. Okay. I feel like it's uh, a little fuzzy at times. It might be the, the internet connection, I'm sure. Okay, might be Zoom too. Zoom's not always. 100% perfect. All right, so anyway, we're gonna do it in the key of C now, okay? So the key of C. And don't worry, we got a chart for you. We got everything you need. And a killer backing tracks, killer, killer back track. Who's familiar with this particular song, by the way? Okay, good. Am I? How am I looking, by the way? How's it looking? It's looking okay? Let me see. Where's my internet? It feels like something's a little off. All right. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, this is a little blurry. Why is that? Let me try to fix that. It was fine. And then I tried something. Let me do this. I typically don't like doing this, but let me try to fix this here. Hey, hold on. Let me, hold on. Give me a second. Yes, not always perfect here. No, it's perfect. We try to be. We try to be. All right. That's yeah, still the same, huh? Give me a second. Let me see what I can do here. Uh, that's weird. It was good, and then it, it went bad. Yeah, right. Yeah, the internet. Let me see if that's, let me just see if I can focus here a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that's, I don't think it's that. Let me do this. No, I feel like it's worse all of a sudden. I'm not sure what happened. Sorry about that. It must be, the, it must be an internet thing. It must be. It must be an internet thing. Okay. I'm going to try to clean it again. Okay. Gotcha, Maria. Yeah, no problem. No problem. It was perfect earlier. So we're just going to have to roll with it because I can't do I can't do much about it. I don't think I can do much about it. All right. That's that. Yeah, it's weird. I did check the mic. Yeah, I'm on the right mic. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something real real quick here. Hold on. Let me just do this. That's a that's my computer. That's my computer thing. The color is all off, so that's it. All right, there. That's better. That's better. Okay. All right. I think we're good. All right. So we were talking about how we are using. The key of C now for this song instead of B. So is that how far away is that? Are we moving a song up or are we moving it down? What are we doing for that? What are we doing? B to C, B to C. Who's new, by the way? Who's new the first time joining here? Anybody? Anybody new here today? Nobody? Nobody? Okay, good. All right, good. All right, let me check over here too. All right. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Now, here's what I want to do. So let me put this up. So this is, let me show you this backing track. Okay, so check this out. This is absolutely killer. And I'll have the chart for you here in a second. So check out this backing track. And then I'm going to show you, we're going to talk about the different strum patterns here, but check this out. One, two, three, four.
right, we'll stop right there, all right. All right, so the hard thing with this particular song is gonna be the strum pattern. The chords are gonna be simple, right? The chords are gonna be simple, not a problem, but the strum pattern will be a little bit more challenging. So let me, let me grab this here, hold on. And I know some of you asked for like the chart early and stuff. It's just usually we're, uh, we have it done and then it's usually we always find little little things here or there that need to be, be updated. So uh, let me just close this out. All right, here we go. All right, so let me show this to you. So grab your ukes if you, if you don't have it already. Let me close that. I want to open it up in a different, a different window here for us. All right, so here we go. All right, so this is I'm Yours, Jason Mraz, probably like one of the, the, the top, top five ukulele songs of all time. All right, and so I have a couple of different rhythms for you. If you listen to this song, it's almost got a very islandy feel. So a, an easy rhythm, which is still actually kind of hard, would be kind of a reggae thing, which would just be simply like... All right, so the chords here should be pretty simple. Again, if you're even if you're a beginner, because these would be the first four chords. This is really a four chord song, except it's going to sneak a D in there. Okay, I did it. I did it right up to the D chord, which they sneak in there just one time for the whole song. But C, make sure you got to. If you don't know these, make sure to get all these memorized. G, A minor, and F, and that's it. And that's the actual order of it. Okay, so each chord will get a measure. So it'll be like. One, two, three, four to the G, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, A minor, and F, two, three, four. So if you can do that, you're all set. Now, if you want to sing it, your starting note is right here. Well, you gunned on me. I bet you I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. All right, so it's a little higher than a normal. And, and some of you are right. It moves up from B, the original key of B to C. All right, so C. All right. So that's, that's, your, that's your goal here. It's just, that's it. The chords are easy. Just going to loop that over and over and over and over again. <laughs> and of course, we got slow backing tracks and we got the faster backing track. Now, the easy rhythm is this is like a, a reggae rhythm. So this would be like Bob Marley. So if you're, if, you, if you're playing Bob Marley, this would be the reggae rhythm. And you know, it says rest, if you look at it here on the downbeats. So even though it says rest here on the downbeats, like here, beat one, Beat two down beats are just meaning the main beats three and four. That's a rest. But even though it says rest, you could do a mute. You know, you could you could kind of mute if you want, but it's really do that with me. So grab your C chord. Grab your C chord. And you're gonna go down, but you're not really really doing anything. You're just gonna kind of stop the string. Up, down, up down, up, down, up. Now again, I'm not doing a, I'm not doing a mute, but you could, I mean, you could, you could do like, right, that works, but for now we're just gonna one and two and three and four. These are all upstrokes with my index finger. Now, if we did this rhythm, this is the easier rhythm, although it sounds really cool, it would just be a measure of each. So it would be C, three, and to the G, to the A minor, F. Right. 
and that's it. All right, let me check this message here. Do some people use their nails on the downbeat during a mute? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you can use your nails. You can use them. You can use a, a muted downstroke. Yeah, yeah, it makes it a little louder. All right, so let me put the chart back up. All right, so let's do that again. Now that we have the chart, I'm making it a little smaller just in case you need the chord still. All right, so let's just try this now using that easy rhythm. We'll do it with the slow backing track here in a minute. One, two, three, four. So intro is just the same chord. And three to the G. A minor. I said the starting note is E, right? It's written on the page. Well, it's kind of high, but we can do it. One, two, three. Well, you done done me. You bet I felt it. You tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks and fall. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. Listen, nothing's going to stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. But, and then it goes on to the chorus, all right? And that's it. So that's kind of the easy version that will work for this song. How are you feeling on that? Give me a score one to five on where you're at with that reggae feel. And again, that reggae is not super easy. And that is not a super easy rhythm. Okay. It's a lot harder than we think it is, especially when we lock in with the music because it's on those, those off beats. And a lot of times we flip the rhythm and we play it on the down beats. Okay. All right, good. Let me go over here for a second. Let me see what's going on here. All right. Oh yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, uh, all the all the sheet music and backing tracks, those are available for all the platinum and the VIP members. And there's a link for that if you want to sign up for that to get all that stuff. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Um, the, the other thing is, let me see, a side note here. Let me see. Okay, that's something else. Um, um, okay, this is a side note. Something else. Uh, side note is that I did, they started something in schools now. Um, so today is my kid's hundredth day in school. And so they dress up like um, hundred year olds or old people. <laughs> so, so today my kids are, are in school in uh, old, old, old kid costumes. So um, it's pretty funny, <laughs> pretty funny. They look pretty cute. All right, now let's try this with the slow backing track. Now I, the, I do have two slow backing tracks a longer version one and a shorter version one let's just do the shorter version one it doesn't go to that like i said there's a new chord here at the end the d chord the short version doesn't get to that chord yet that's actually a harder chord for a beginner but the longer version it does um, so we're going to keep it simple for now so let me get to the backing tracks this backing track will just fade out just nice and slow where are you there we go all right, so let me just play it for a second so you hear it. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and to the G. A minor. Practice the strumming right now. Get into it a little bit. You might have to move your body. Those four chords.
then it just kind of fades out right there. All right, so we're gonna do it again. That's that same tempo, and we'll add the lyrics now this particular time. I just wanted to go through one time to see how you feel. Yeah, to see how you feel. Uh, all right, good, good. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I think, you know, my wife took the picture of our kids and I asked her to text it to me and she hasn't yet. So I'll have to, I'll have to send her a text again and see if she makes sure she gets it for us. Yeah, she took, she took the picture of this thing. So she's probably doing something. All right, I'm gonna send her a text again. So maybe by the time we, we get to our VIP, we'll do it. All right, let's do it again now with the, we'll, we'll add some lyrics now. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to sing if you don't want to. The only problem with the key of C is it's a little high, like I mentioned, but it makes this song really nice for the chords, right? The chords are really nice in this particular key here. All right, so we're gonna do the, exactly the same thing. Let me see here. Oh, it's today National Ukulele Day? Okay, nice. Nice, all right, I did not know that. All right, so here we go again. This is a slow back track. This is 55 beats per minute by the way 55 beats per minute here we go maybe you're starting notes right here uno dos ready and So I stopped it right there on purpose. So I had the backing track fade out right there before it gets to the next section. Now, singing and playing, you know, especially the reggae rhythm is a little tough. You got to lock it with the backing track. So it takes a little bit of practice. I can always practice. I can always get better as well. All right. So how are we doing with that so far? How are we feeling with that? I don't know why it's the easy rhythm. It's not really, it's just, just the alternate rhythm. But that would be one that you could you could use that would really work for it. Oh, got a sneeze coming on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, it's 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 harder to lock into the rhythm singing and playing that. But that's not really an excuse. It is. It's true though. <coughs> excuse me. But you should be able to play and sing. At any tempo, but it is, it does make defining the groove a little harder. I agree with you. Now, the longer backing track. Uh, all right, so that, that's the slow one. Now, what I like to do now is I don't want to do the whole song again with the slower tempo. So let's, let's jump to really the real rhythm of this song, which is the more complex rhythm, which is right here. Yeah. Now here's how you're gonna start this rhythm. You're just gonna, you're just gonna. All right, and I'll, you're just gonna go to this right here. Just grab your C chord. If you got it, as a matter of fact, you could just, you could just hold the strings. Now what we're doing here is instead of doing eighth notes, we're gonna increase the tempo to 16th notes because this is a, when you play, it's supposed to sound like this. T, 
two, three, four, one, two, three. Right, that's that's how the song really goes. If you listen to the guitar, and it, and it still gives you that offbeat vibe, but it's just a little bit busier with the strumming, right? So if you grab your C chord, it's gonna go. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and two E and three E and the four E and the uh, uh, hmm. two, three, four. All right, that's really the rhythm. That's that continuous right hand motion. Now, what the rhythm does, if you look at it, it actually has a mute on the first two down up strum patterns, so mute. And then it's supposed to do two down up. So mute, strum. Now this upstroke, this could get a little unmuted and that's okay. Cause it's hard to do a mute when you do an upstroke, especially on a big open chord like the C. It works easier when we were in the original key like I was showing you earlier, B. To get the mute right you just have to release the pressure of your chord but when you have an open chord like this and you have these open strings ringing it's a little bit harder so it's it's it's, it's going to be an adaptation really but it's going to go mute mute down up so two mutes down up not mute so back and forth between two, mute, no mute, mute, no mute. One E and the two E, three. And that's the real deal. Like that's the real deal rhythm that he uses. Now uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard because our tendency, my, ten my tendency as well, is to want to flip the rhythm, right? So it's hard to do this and sing. That's where I get into trouble myself, is that to do this rhythm, all right, to do that rhythm and play is not a problem, right? So I could do this all day long. So it's like one, uh, two, three, so one, two, three, four, and G. Matter of fact, I just flipped it right there. Right. And so that's a tendency. I gotta concentrate. The tendency is to flip this, which I'll probably do, and to put the unmuted stuff on the downbeat, right? It, it, it sounds good still. It sounds good still, but it takes away from the reggae feel of the song. So let's do it with the backing track. That will help me a little bit. All right. This is slow backing track, but let's try this, this new rhythm. One, two, Three, four, so. A minor. That's it. That's it right there. That's a slow backing track still. Okay. Where are we at with that? How are we feeling? Is that harder now?
Yeah. So you can mute open chords like this with your with your chord in hand. You can do that. But it's it's really a lot of work and it's not gonna make that big of a difference. So what I'm gonna do is probably just mute on the downstroke. You know, you could do something like put your finger over the strings to get the mute up. So it's not that big of a deal. If this if the notes ring out a little bit. It's fine. It's fine for, for it's still gonna give you the same effect that we need to. If you wanted to get real technical though, it's just harder to mute the open strings. That's all. You'd have to use other fingers to do it on an upstroke, right? Because when you do an upstroke, to keep your palm down and get it, it's, it's really hard. So mute up. It's fine. All right. Let me check these scores here real quick to see how you're doing. Yeah, I mean, for those that are a little more advanced, if you wanted to do the bar chord C, Minor stuff, unless you do like A minor. That's F7. That's F7. So, all right, two, one, two, one point two. This is hard. Good. Yes. Now you know how I like to roll. I know this is a beginner challenge. That's why we give you the the different rhythm earlier. But I want to show you like the real stuff, right? The real, the real, if you listen to the, if you listen to the real song, Jason Mraz's actual bird, you'll hear this rhythm in there. And so it's kind of really uh, a cool, a cool kind of vibe to it. Yeah. It gives it a real, a real, like I said, island vibe, which is almost very, almost very reggae sounding. All right, let me check the, the YouTube here real quick. Comments. All right. Nice. All right, Terry. Get a new instrument from us here. So the strum pattern, like, like I was showing you earlier, the strum pattern is really just continuous motion of the right hand. Okay. That's really it. This is your practice. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the... And then you're going to add the mute. Mute. Mute down up, mute, mute down up, mute, mute down up. But it's still, it's all about that right hand just going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down the whole time. I mean, you could do it like without even any mutes. One, the end. So the mutes just kind of add that next level, but you could just do that the whole time. Down, up, down, up, down, up the whole time. All right. I am not muting on the upstroke. Yeah, so I'm not muting. You could, right? But no, I'm not because you'd have to, you'd have to like mute it with your left hand here. So I'm not. You could do that if you want to. Use, use like mute, mute, down, up. It's not that important, and it's too much to think about when you're trying to play and sing. The, really, the idea is to get into the groove of it a little bit more. Okay? And, I, and I mentioned this earlier, but these chords, these bar chords, make it easier to mute on upstrokes versus these real big open position chords with a lot of open strings. Okay. All right. Now, listen to this. No singing yet. We'll, still, we'll do it one more time here with the fast backing track. All right with this rhythm and we'll see how we do here. So this is the fast backing track because I'm gonna show you, we'll play it two times now. We're gonna play it once regular and then we're gonna play it, um, then we'll play it with the, uh, just listen to the backing track here for a second. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Do you hear 
going with three. Three, just three, four. Now get that right hand moving. your attention didn't it sandy just looked up out of nowhere like whoa wait what what happened there what happened there and that's where it goes to the new chord there the d chord there and it only happens one time in this entire song i think yeah i think it only happens one in the whole song but i figured what the heck let's just include it for this version today and so that last chord there which happens in this verse here Love, 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 love. All right, so grab that D chord. That's a hard chord. That's not an easy beginner chord. That's why I kind of saved it for this, this end here for us. To kind of throw in there, but I thought it'd be cool to throw it in, kind of get you out of these, these chords, which are cool. But this D chord is really important too, because it's used a lot in our, in our ukulele playing. It's just one of the harder chords because you got to go to, two, two, and you gotta find a nice fingering that works for that, two, two, two. I use that one, one, my first finger, and then my middle finger, get that first string open. Some people like one, two, three, which is hard for me, especially on a concert. Some people like two, three, four, that's fine. Some people like to bar it, all of them with the first finger. I use one, one, two, and I can play this chord on a soprano, a concert, or a tenor ukulele, or a baritone, no problem. All right, I'm just looking a little bit. Okay, oh yeah, we did horse, horse with no name for the, the other day on, on baritone, that was fun. All right, all right, let's try this now. Again, if you need to use a more three, easier rhythm. A rhythm make up rhythm i'm just showing you what sounds good for this style this this pop this is like a pop uh you know pop reggae pop island style caribbean style hawaiian style you know this this is what sounds good for this particular um one and it might be a little challenging for us all right but let's try it now we're gonna do it with the fast backing track all the way through what the chart has which is up to that d chord and I'll, I'll cue that D chord because you'll, you'll hear it in the, in the lyrics here. But let me put this back on the screen. We're going to do the same exact thing now with the counting. We'll go one time through as an intro. And then we'll start with the. Well, you done done me. You bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm going to get some water. I'm going to get some water here. <laughs> I probably. If I was to sing this song, I'd probably take it down to a different key, like G. I'd probably move it down to G. That would help the vocals out for me. But this is a good key. This is a good key for playing for beginners. All right, here we go. Uno, dos, three, four. Here 
go. You ready? Let's do this. Well, you done done me that I felt it. I tried to be chill, but just a hot that I melted. I fell right through the crack. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. Listen, nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some, but I won't hesitate. No more, no more. We can't wait. I'm yours. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. Next verse. All right. How did you, did you get that D chord? Did you get that D chord? Throw that in the chat for me. Again, it's probably a good key for singing. I have to go into falsetto a little bit, or I'd have to really belt it out um, to try to get those notes. But um, good. All right. Not, not again, not necessarily the easiest song in the world. I know it's a beginner challenge, but you can adapt the chords if you needed to to something or the rhythm, right? The chords are fine. The rhythm is something simpler if you needed to. Um, do I mean the island strum? The island strum works, but you'd have to do almost each chord would have to have like two island strums for it to really sound good. Well, you don't know. Yeah, so it'd be the island strum down, down, up, up, down, up, but you have to do it twice for each particular chord. All right. Woo. All right. So here we go. So we're not going to do it again. That was a pretty good as we're going to get for today. Um, but I think the rhythms I showed you are nice rhythms to work on for it. We have the upstroke easier reggae rhythm, and then we have the more busy. 16th note strum pattern with or without mutes totally uh totally fine yeah i mean i think most people will just gravitate towards the island strum for most songs and it you you sound good but if you really listen to the original recording he's not using the island strum right he's using this i mean he's on guitar for this but it's you know he's using This is all bar chord. Yeah, that would be in the same key we just did, but all bar chord. All right. So I want to just go over here before we uh, wrap up this YouTube stream here. Uh, keep working. Keep working on this. Um, don't forget, you got to post three, three songs three different songs of this challenge up at the Ukike the Pros Forum. That's a totally free forum to uh, to be a part of. Make sure you sign up for this whole thing, ukikethepros.com slash beginning. That's for our challenge. And then, uh, you know, you're going to have a chance to win. Well, we're giving away, well, not three, but actually now it turns out to be five Kala ukuleles. One of the arch top ones one of the one that I was playing and then three watermans and the watermans are going to kids that are 12 and under. Okay. So we've got plenty of chances to win, but hopefully you're here just to learn and have a great time. So I appreciate everyone being here. Um, uh, you click slash concert. Come be a part of our first annual festival here. It's going to be absolutely fantastic time. Fun time. Like I've already talked to people coming in from 
Northern California, Arizona, some people local here in San Diego or LA area. It's going to be a blast. We do have a virtual option. If you want to go virtual, you can do that as well. Um, and we'll put a link of that in the chat. So, but hopefully you can be a part of that. Myself, Bernadette teaches music, uh, Kimo Hussey, Anthony Stanley, Timothy Cruz, Christopher Davis Shannon, um, all, all big people in the ukulele community. So great job. Um, we got a couple more songs left. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what they are, <laughs> but they're also great songs that will great to learn as a beginner, but also will challenge you and really help you get to the next level. And then when you're done with this challenge, when you get over to youcollectopros.com, you want to pick up one of our courses, you want to join the premium or the platinum membership, all this stuff will be your foundation for a lot of those courses. Um, by the way, I did want to show you this. Give me one second here. So this is new um, or up, is updated. Let me say that. Let me say it's updated. All right, let me show you. I'm going to show you this for a second here. Uh, close that out. Hold on. One more thing before we get out of here, and I want to jump on the uh, the VIPs here. All right, so on our, our website, youclickthepros.com, uh, you got the, uh, the festival. It's coming up. Okay, so you got the festival. The countdown is on. All right, the countdown is on. 10 to 5, one-day festival. Going to be absolutely fantastic. All right, you got to come down. You got the, some of our new packs. Or This is our new beginning pack. This is not one I want to show you, though. <clears throat> It just happens to be on this page, but we do have this really cool. Oh, we do have, I meant to mention this earlier. We have a great blog. Um, check it out. We post like three articles a week over there. Uh, we got hundreds of articles up. We got songs pages. We got everything. It's just blog.youcollectopros.com. Blog.youcollectopros.com. But what I wanted to show you was our roadmap has now been updated. So this is our little You Collect the Pros city here. And if you're a beginner, it's got the beginner courses right here for you. Do these courses in order, and that will be your guide, your step-by-step -step guide. And then if you're an intermediate player, an advanced player, or you just have some other stuff, fun land, baritone, or guitar lately. So we got the roadmap for you so you know which course to take in order of that. And that was just updated because we had to add a couple courses that weren't in there uh, for now. So anyway, that's up at youcollectingpros.com. All right, y'all. I want to jump over to the uh, the Zoom call. I appreciate you all being here. Great job. Keep working. Okay. Okay. Cool. Hey, Carol. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I like this. I haven't surfed for a couple of weeks, so I was out of town for the weekend. But all right, y'all. Great job. Proud of you for being here. We got a few more of these left um, before we do the giveaways, but keep coming back. Uh, you click the pros.com slash uh, beginning. And then again, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I do appreciate all that and all your support. So take care and uh, I will see you for the next song. Song six coming up here soon. All right, here we are. We're